everybody, it's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy red carpet. What's going on? Oh, you know, How just you? hanging out at the Daytime Emmys. Uh, what's going on with you? Lots. Lots. Yeah, lots of stuff. You're doing podcasts. You're, I know, I have Traveling to. the country. We You'll are. be in the East Coast in a couple of and days. I'm going to see you. So we're going to be it's hanging be out, fun. creating shenanigans of yes, some sort. 100% for sure. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it won't get me in trouble. It'll be great. Hello. Usually I can hit my mark. <laughs> He's like, hey, stupid. <laughs> Stupid guy with the spiky hair. Can that, you move over? That's more me moving from my spot to not uh, <laughs> yeah. allowing people to go where they're supposed to. Right. So let's talk about it. 45 yeah. years of daytime Emmys. This is my 20th daytime Emmys red carpet. You've yeah. done one or two in your Yeah, in one your or time. two. I don't know how many. But Does yeah. it feel different from you from the first one that you've done until this one here? You know, yeah, of course, because it was Radio City Music Hall. Right? I love that you said that. Right. It makes so, me happy. So, yes. But what's cool, I mean, obviously, look, it was the heyday of the Emmys and, you know, the New York streets were red carpeted, you know, and it was amazing. So I'm actually glad it's last year was the first time it kind of felt like, hey, man, this is cool because we're in the auditorium. It's like a theater again. It's really great. So it's great to be here now. But yeah, the Radio City Music Hall was amazing. You've had an eventful year on the General Hospital, so, I mean, the year started and Jason was somebody else and then he's not. In 15 seconds or less, what, I know, right? What has Jason gone through in the last, not really a year, but, you know, in the last time since you've been back? 15 seconds or less, I mean, go. It's been... Uh, a huge emotional roller coaster for Jason. I don't know what's what happened in the Russian clinic, but he cries more than ever now. And I don't know why. Can somebody help me, please? Find out what happened, please? Somebody call me. Dr. Klein, can you get on the phone and tell me what happened to me, please? So, uh, but it's been awesome, man. Being able to start working with everybody again and, and people I haven't worked with. And there's still some people I haven't that I can't wait to work with. So it's good, man. It's been a good ride so far. Since we're going to be hanging out on the East Coast in, in, in a Philadelphia. bit, let's give people a, a preview of what they might expect from that. Are we doing a Facebook that. Live? Sure, why not? What the hell? Why, why don't, why don't uh, let's we? Let's do it. We'll set it up. Okay, cool. We'll make it happen. Cool. Well, I'm going to give Bradford a lot of beer and then just start playing some music and see what happens. He likes to dance around for me. I mean, this sounds like rate, this is a ratings winner right there. I don't know about that, but <laughs> for me it is. We'll figure it out. Thank you, hey, thank you so bro. much. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. It's Dan Kroll coming to you live from the 2018 Daytime Emmy red carpet.